You can barbecue anything. You can barbecue pork, chicken. Uh, there's more. <laughs> Wings. <laughs> Peach cobbler. Soybeans. Chicken fried steak, or chicken fried steak sandwiches probably would be my guess. KFC without a doubt. Colonel Sanders, who was a Kentucky colonel, not a military colonel, there's a difference. He was a colonel though. Selling his chicken on the side of the road, fighting people over it. Shooting a guy, apparently. <laughs> You go to Arkansas, I don't know if you've ever been to Arkansas, but Arkansas, when you drive through it, uh, you know, it, there's a lot of farmland. And when you drive through Arkansas, you see a ton of soybean fields. We don't really have anything too unique. All the things everybody else has done, and we put gravy on it. That's, that's what we did. Eastern Carolina barbecue. It's with the vinegar, and you gotta have the hush puppies with it. They just go together like anything that goes together. Alabama's greatest contribution to the culinary world is Without a doubt, white barbecue sauce. Mento cheese. Personally, I think it's trash. Probably barbecue. That would be my first spot. All in Tex-Mex. The canned sardines. They're not definitely not my go-to, uh, but I can I can eat a pack of sardines and a pack of saltine crackers if I need some sodium. And I know a lot of people hear white barbecue sauce and they think that sounds like the most disgusting thing ever and by its name, yeah, it sounds very weird. But I'm telling you, white barbecue sauce just poured all over smothering a piece of smoked chicken is one of, one of life's greatest treats. It's got to be uh, the greatest oysters in the world out of Apalachicola Bay. I'm from New Orleans, which is like culinary heaven. Anything that you can think of, gumbo, beignets, Red beans and rice. I mean, but that's just, see, that's not fair because that's all like New Orleans. We are in Louisiana, so I guess that counts. Virginia is great, at least my portion of Virginia, Southern Virginia, because we have the best of both worlds. We've got, we're near the coast, so we've got the seafood. Then we've also got the Southern soul food. You think of seafood um, and you'd be right. I mean, we, we know how to, smoke mullet and, and fry flounder and broil grouper. And you know, you can really live on that stuff. We're, we're not just uh, fish sticks and popcorn shrimp. You go to a cookout, you will have one plate, one table of just like the ribs and the barbecue. Then the next table is just covered with newspaper and as people cracking crabs, you get the best of both worlds in VA. We changed the game for the rest of America when we rolled out bottled sweet tea from Milo's. I, I guess I'll go with sweet tea. Barks root beer. Beverage World Coca-Cola. It's definitely Pepsi. Ozark water. That's a good one. But Milo's changed the game. They brought bottled sweet tea that tastes like as close as you can get, and in some cases better than the sweet tea you can make at home. Bourbon. It is the world's capital of bourbon. Probably and. I hope Mama's not watching. Rum and Coke. And you know, our Cuban contribution has been great and rum and coke. Ranch waters. Tito's vodka, which is made in Austin, Topo Chico, and then lime. Also, I just went straight to alcohol. <laughs> I don't know if we have a signature beverage. I think the state beverage is like milk or something boring like that. The daiquiri. The daiquiri. Moonshine. Period. Also, there's Ale 8. It's kind of like a better ginger ale, but it's definitely an acquired taste. Three two beer, low alcohol beer, because it just got abolished that law like four years ago. Uh, but before that, you couldn't get any high alcohol beer or wine in grocery stores. You gotta be careful with moonshine though, but it tastes good. Like I feel like in the movies or whatever, just like the impression that you get of moonshine is like, oh, it's so strong. And like, it is strong, but it does not taste strong. And then you mix it with something else. Oh, I went to the hospital over moonshine. You gotta be careful. I'm not exaggerating. <laughs> From my personal experience, it has to be Golden Corral. I know, it's not the one on top of your mind. Do I even have to say it? Chick-fil-A. 
Probably, I'd probably say Hall's Chop House. Sonic, it's American Stripe, you know? I don't know. It's okay, it's fine. Church, Sundays, after church, what do you do? You go for the buffet, and you go for the Golden Corral buffet, because why? Kids eat free. I don't know if they still do, but they did then. I think that there is a fight over um, whether or not raising canes should be included in this discussion. If you love Zaxby's, it's better than that. TCBY is big there. Torchy Tacos. Started in Austin and it's like throughout. Ooh, Joe's Crab Shack. Joe's Crab Shack. Well, that's all over too. But there's, I've been to ones in Tennessee. Man, the food is so good at home. Why don't you go to a chain restaurant? Milo's. For sure. Y'all don't know what you're missing. Joe's Crab Shack is Wards. They have chili cheese dogs. They have the big one combo, which is a big nasty burger with chili all over it and cheese and onions and it's so bad for you, it's good. And Milo's knows it's a burger and all they put on it is chopped onions, pickles, and the sauce. That's all you need. I could go old school with Red Lobster just for the biscuits. Acne. Acne oysters. I feel like crab makes it sound like it's on the coast, but they're in Tennessee, I tell you. We still have one or two ho folks left. I sure added to my waistline there a few years back. Captain George's is basically a seafood buffet that just has everything laid out. Every local mom and pop Mexican restaurant. Go in and get your local pollo feliz or your happy chicken or your pollo loco. It's the same thing. It's just chicken, rice, and cheese. The amazing cheese dripped, poured, smothered all over it. I am a hole in a wall type girl. Moro's has the best shrimp and grits that you would ever put in your mouth. Um, Neo's has some of the best seafood dishes that you could ever, anything you can think of. There is a restaurant called Druthers in Campbellsville, Kentucky. You can get biscuits and gravy in like five seconds going through a drive-thru, like it's that kind of place. There's a place in South Alabama. They've got like three locations. It's called Fish River Grill. I love everything about that place. And I'm about to say something that's probably a little sacrilegious, but they actually have a cheeseburger there called the Hurricane Burger that is incredible. It's got like a two or three different types of cheeses and jalapenos and bacon on it. And it's like, you wouldn't, you, you shouldn't go to a seafood restaurant and get a burger, but I've been there several times. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. They say it's famous. It is. Uh, there's a restaurant that is not around anymore called Julia Mays that I ate there half a dozen times and it had the the, rant, the big plate of fried everything and uh, uh, I, I remember that one fondly. Zunzi's in Savannah. It's the best sandwich I've had in my entire life. So it's this walk up, like stand in line, like stall I guess, or little restaurant building and they've since added like a seating area but you wait in line and it's a south african inspired sandwich shop and my favorite is the conquistador i think that's what it's called and it's these huge sandwiches and it's covered with chicken and this delicious sauce and it takes you like three days to eat it gatlinburg i'm trying to remember the name of it it was like okay i was a kid let's clarify that so it's, it was a little wonky little place i don't want to sound like immature it would make fun of you. It sounds so dumb. <laughs> I, I was, as a kid, I was loving it. I was in rapture. Cause you know, customer service is supposed to be nice to you. And you know, at a restaurant, but they like just are mean to you the whole time. And they make fun of you and stuff. I thought it was great. <laughs> God, I feel bad for the other states right now. Sucks to be you, Arkansas, whatever.